Hey guys, today I am so, so, so stoked about this. Okay, so I ended up buying the Yulanzi Super Giant Mystery Box A. Um, so it took about 12 days coming from China and it's finally here on my table. So let's go ahead and get started on the unboxing. So got my trusty cheap husky knife. I waited 12 days for this. If you're curious like me, you wanna know what it actually looks like inside. And if we actually got lucky to get the gimbal that they said they're gonna include, you and I, we're gonna find out together right now. So it says like, Yulansi mystery box right here. Pretty cool. Without further ado, let's go and get going. My heart is pounding. I'm so excited about this. I don't know why. It's just gear. Okay, so I'm gonna switch up the angle here. All right, let's take a look and see what we got. Super excited. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, so, all right, first thing I see, let get this, is the Yulansi Fast Claw. So this is like the equivalent of the Peak Design Capture Clip. I know the Peak Design Capture Clip is like V3 or V4 now. So we'll have to kind of take a look at this and compare. I do have the version one of Peak Design. So at least that will give us a, a quick comparison and see what it looks like. So probably do a quick unboxing on this later. Moving on, we have the Siren VMQ1. Now this seems like a very similar version of the Rode Video Micro, which I also have, and also have the Movo uh, mic version as well. So this is like my third mini or micro shotgun mic. Um, so we can probably do a sound comparison. To be honest, don't really need this, but hey, it's always nice to have, why not? Ooh, this is nice. I've been eyeing this tripod for a little bit of time now. It's the Yulansi MT43, the metal foldable tripod. So this thing is actually super hefty. Now, to be honest with you, it's so heavy. I don't even know if I would actually bring it out because it's so heavy. Uh, but the build quality seems solid from what all the reviews I've seen so far. So I'm excited to actually get my hands on this and be able to check it out and test this for you guys. Ooh, okay, let's look at this one. All right, so this is the VL69 bicolor vlogging light. Now bicolor, I'm assuming that they're saying basically daylight white balance and tungsten. So we'll have to take a look and see what this looks like. But I like the dome shape. It's just more natural to your face you know, when it's lighting up, you know, so it's, it looks like it's diffused. So we're gonna unbox this. I'm gonna take a look at this. This will definitely work with my other Yulansi VL49 RGB light um, in conjunction with that. So it's always nice to have these little uh, lights around, especially if you're doing unboxing. I'm using the light over here right now with RGB and I'm using a red one over there. So it's pretty cool to have. This little tiny box. Ooh, okay. So Yulansi R072. Okay, so yeah, this is basically their little quick release plate. Um, it's nice, you can probably check it out later. Yeah, you know, in fact, let's open it up, see what it looks like. I'm curious. Whoa, you know what? It is much smaller than I expect. Holy cow. Okay, this is kind of nice. So, whoa, this is a lot smaller than I thought. It's the hummingbird, whatever they call it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what is awesome? You have a GoPro mount here. This thing is dope. I don't know. How does this work? Oh, yeah, nice. I finally figured it out. <laughs> so you just press it in, brute force it, boom, it comes out. It has this like really proprietary weird mount. So if you want to go with this system, you pretty much will have to kind of buy more of these. But I'm liking the fact that it is super light. Anyway, just a quick random update to what I figured out. Oh, okay. So we're getting a nice solid foam mount. I never really use foam mounts. This metal construction is super solid. I just don't use foam mounts. I mean, let me show you my phone. This is my phone. There's no way this thing can mount on here. So 
Maybe this is a giveaway? Let me know what you guys think. Let's do the obvious one right here. All right. So this is the, I don't know, Evigium, but it's probably Yulanzi brand. Uh, the VL120 RGB LED video light panel. So it's one of those like low profile light panels. I've been thinking about getting one of these for the longest time. And I'm excited the fact that I finally have one. Save money on light. Okay, definitely. Well, I have two lights that came with this kit. So hopefully I'm saving money on that. I think one good idea for me is to kind of go on Amazon and price everything out and then add them up together on a spreadsheet and to show you guys and see if I'm indeed getting the value of the $200 value that I perceive to be uh, getting from this mystery box. So but we'll see. I'm excited about this. We can open that up later and do an unboxing and also maybe a quick review as well. It's cool. All right. And then we are also having a coat shoe monitor mount. Okay, well, I don't have a monitor. But my cameras definitely have coat shoes. So let's see. I wonder if we can use this for something else. But well, let's take a look. Seems pretty solid. Oh, this thing is solid, yo. Okay, okay. Don't get too excited. Okay. UU rig. All right. Cool. It's pretty cool. UU rig. Okay. This, the whole thing is metal. You know what? I actually like this. Even if I don't use this for a monitor, I can use this for something else. And I like this joint. It's pretty cool. It's only one axis, uh, but hey man, this thing is awesome. And how you tighten it down is use an Allen key. Definitely solid enough to hold a monitor. At first, I didn't think I'm gonna keep this, but now that I'm looking at the build quality, I think I want it. Maybe I can use this for a light panel or something. Yeah, awesome. All right, last but not least is this bag. Now, I think this is basically just like a, kind of like a gold bag. I'm just gonna take it out for us to take a look. I guess it's just like a bag. I was hoping I'd get the gimbal, but I didn't get the gimbal, unfortunately. So sad. Uh, but yeah, this looks like a pretty solid bag. You know what, let's just open it up and see what's up. Okay, you guys see? Okay, let's open this thing up. So it comes with a lot of free paper inside. It's like bonus free paper, guys. Nice. Yeah, you know what? This kind of reminds me of the Peak Design bag. I'll be right back. This actually kind of reminds me of the Peak Design field pouch. Um, I think this is like medium version, I forgot. Um, one thing about the Peak Design field pouch is the Velcro sucks. It's like super weak. So I rarely use this field pouch and it also adds some weight to it. It's kind of hefty, but I do like the fact that this is a lot wider on the inside. So you can fit a lot more things to it. So I will probably be doing a quick review on this Yulanzi bag as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my video. We'll really appreciate it. Take care and have a good day. Thanks, bye.